Hi, today I'm going to give you an overview of two new products from Sonodyne, which are set to transform the safety and efficiency of operations in offshore energy and mine countermeasures. First, let's take a look at the Initiation Transponder 6, IT6 for short. Unexploded Ordnance Disposal poses a major risk to personnel, assets and project timescales. IT6 helps mitigate these risks. It provides a secure, long-range way to trigger mine neutralisation systems like Viper from ECS Special Projects. The usual way to initiate a mine neutralisation system is to run a shock tube to the surface where it is initiated by an RF signal. This approach has operational limitations as it can only be done in daylight and requires good weather. The IT6 removes these limitations. It's attached directly to the mine neutralisation system via a short piece of chop tube and is initiated via a wireless acoustic link to the surface, which isn't affected by sea state or time of day. Let's take a closer look at the design features at the Initiation Transponder 6. Small and lightweight, making it easy to deploy using an ROV. A magnetic remove before use switch ensures the transponder is only powered on when needed. IT6 uses our wideband 2 signals for secure, reliable underwater communications. An inbuilt hydrostatic switch blocks arming of the initiation transponder unless it is at a certain depth. IT6s are only armable for a certain period of time, allowing multiple units to be deployed and ensures the system cannot be armed on deck. A unique six character key, which is used to arm and initiate individual transponders. Status LEDs indicate if the initiation transponder is ready to arm, armed and fire. IT6s are designed for use with 3mm shock tube. And here's the brains of the operation. Our brand new multifunctional deck top side. The deck top side is used to individually command and control each IT6 that you have deployed. It's IP67 rated and features a daylight readable interactive 7 inch resistive touchscreen, perfect for wet weather. A rechargeable battery also provides over eight hours of continuous use for when operating on ribs like this one, where there's no external power. The display also features two physical buttons to use during the initiation phase. Hold one to arm and press the other to initiate. This is the cable dunker for the system. It provides a secure acoustic communication link between the surface and the IT6. Simply plug it into the transceiver port on the deck top side and deploy over the side. It also comes with 10 meters of cable. Let's take a closer look at the design features of the deck top side software and cable dunker. It has a tough and rugged design. It weighs just a few kilos. It's IP67 rated, back deck operations in any weather. The intuitive user interface guides the user through every stage of operation from setup to initiation. Two additional physical buttons allow for secure initiation sequencing. Log files can be exported for post-operation reporting. There's a choice of power, external or internal chargeable batteries. The dunker can be deployed using its own cable over the side. We supply 10 meters of deck cable as standard with 20 meter extension cables available as an option. If you'd like to find out more information about our new Initiation Transponder 6 system and find out about how we can help with your UXO clearance missions in both civil and defense, then please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thanks for watching.